Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. In fact, it's a special night because I'm going to read you two stories tonight. Two little tiny books with big, big lessons. This is going to be great. Now, the first book I really like because you know Miss Dorothy really likes hippos. And this book is called Happy Hippo, Angry Duck. Happy Hippo, Angry Duck. Wow, this is a story about all the different ways that you can feel. Happy, angry, sad, all the things that you can feel and how to handle those feelings. This will be a good book, especially because it's got a hippo in it. But after that, because I love you so much, I wanted to read you another book with your favorite animal. So what did I find? Another little book and this one's called Dino Snores. Not dinosaurs, dino snores. This is a book about what happens when it's time for dinosaurs to go to bed, just like all my little dinosaurs. We need to get into this book and find out if these dinosaurs do the same thing you do when it's time to go to bed. I think this is going to be a great night. Are you ready for Miss Dorothy to read you two little books? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Happy Hippo. Angry Duck, A Book of Moods by Sandra Boynton. Hello, little person. How are you today? Is your mood quite terrific or only okay? Are you as happy as a hippo or angry as a duck? Maybe sad as a chicken? Can you sadly say cluck cluck? Are you grumpy as a moose? Or as excited as a dog? Worried as a rabbit? Contented as a frog? Perhaps like a pig, you are sweetly amused. Or perhaps like a cow, you're completely confused. You might feel that somehow you've lost all your fizz. Or you're frazzled like a uh, um, frazzled thing. I'm not sure what it is. What is that frazzled thing? Well, I hope you are happy. But if you are not, you have friends who will help you. We like you a lot. And a difficult mood is not here to stay. Everyone's moods will change day to day. Unless you're that duck, he's always this way. Moody old duck. Dinah Snores by Sandra Boynton. When the sun has gone down and the blue stars appear, then the dinosaurs know that their bedtime is near. So they all clean their teeth and their sweet faces too. Good job, they're brushing their teeth and washing their face before bed. Then they wiggle and stretch, just like dinosaurs do. Their pajamas are cozy, they all put them on. Then they yawn and they yawn. Ugh. And they yawn, and they yawn. Wow, these dinosaurs are making me sleepy. Now they all settle down in a dinosaur heap. They all close their eyes. They all fall asleep. And soon they are dreaming, our dinosaur friends. I'm afraid this is when all the snoring begins. Honk, choo! Honk, choo! Honk, choo! Honk, choo! Wow, they snore really loud. The snoring goes on and on through the night. They never stop snoring till the first morning light. I like all those dinos says the bunny, but I just want to say, thank goodness those dinosaurs 
live far, far away. <laughs> the dinosaurs are way out there going, honk choo, honk choo, honk choo. But they're so far away, they won't keep the bunny awake. Wow, those were great books. I liked them. They were short little books, so I'm glad we read two. But they were a lot of fun. You know what? This hippo book about all the different ways that you can feel, that was an important book. It was important for you to realize that you have a lot of different feelings and how to handle those feelings. I like that book and it had a hippo in it, so it made me happy. And then of course, Dino Snores. This is the book we need to read when we're getting ready to get into bed. I like this part right here. That poor little bunny, he's so happy that the dinosaurs are way over here because they snore so loud. Do you snore? Do you snore like a dinosaur? Hmm, I wonder. But now it's time for my little dinosaurs to get to dreaming and get to snoring. It's time for you to get into bed. I need you to get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. Give mom and dad a little extra kiss tonight because they gave us a little extra time to read two books. We need to be thankful for that. And I need all of you to go to sleep like a dinosaur. And then tomorrow, when you get up and you're running around like a hippo, no matter how you feel, no matter what's going on, remember, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm gonna be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.